Hey everyone, this is No Game Key, and welcome to Imaginary Friend Asylum. Now, this game, I did see a little bit of reading. It's basically, we're like in an asylum, we're a kid, and our imaginary friends, I assume are these guys, are going to get us through the hard times. That's kind of what it sounded like. I actually made sure I read this time. So, we're going to check this out. It already looks really cool, so we're going to check it out together. Turn your headphones up. Let's get started. I'm burning. That's not good. My head is on fire. Daddy, I'm sorry. Anthony. Anthony Rivers? That's me. Yes, I'm here to check in. Okay, yeah, the same thing. Okay. You brought some belongings, I see. You won't be needing these anymore. What do you mean? All you need is in the asylum. I'll be throwing this garbage away. Whoa, hold on. How dare you disrespect me? Follow me in th oh, this instant unless you wish to be punished before. Right, hold on. Let me get in character. She coming off a little rude and I don't like all the sass she is throwing with my suitcase. Like she don't know if there's glass in there and she's just throwing it around like that. It's just kind of rude. It's th look at her. Okay. How dare you disrespect me? Follow me this instant unless you wish to be punished before stepping inside. Uh oh yeah. You want to know. I don't like that. This looks, I don't see how we doing. Okay, it looks pretty good. Interact. I said, get inside now. Not yet. You're really testing my patience, kid. Okay, I want to look around first. I'm going this way. Oh, damn. Okay, I am going this way. I'm just trying to see how this moves. Okay. I don't want to get in trouble. You're already in trouble. You might as well just accept it. They're already going to give you some type of crazy treatment. I don't like how this moves. Hold on. It's like too glidey or something. Fine. It's weird. It's like a, gl a weird glide that it's doing. Okay, let's go. I don't know what you're rushing for. You are hereby admitted to Hathmore Asylum. You are not to leave the premises under any circumstances. You are expected to res Whoa, okay. All right, hold on. I'm getting mad. I'm getting a little triggered by how I'm speaking to myself. You are expected to respect the staff. If you can't follow these rules, you'll face the severe consequences. Understood? Yes, ma'am. You'll be sharing a room with other children. Myself and the other staff are very busy, but I trust you can find it yourself. I have never been here. Okay. You'll fit nicely in a room six in the male ward. And don't forget to pick up a hospital gown in there. That's why you walk like that. And all y'all nurses look the same. Her calves are a little bit bigger. But hey. Ooh. Can I go... So this is the nurse station. Like, you expect that I'm going to know my way around. It's my first day here. It's dirty as hell. Okay, whatever. This isn't the right way. How do I know? 
How do I know? But I mean, it's not bad. I want. I want to know what. Okay, we're going in here. What? What? This is it. Okay then. Is that medicine mine? Is that mine? Is that? Is that mine? Is, is that my? There's pills everywhere. What lovely family. Do I need that? I don't like this room. It looks cold. There's no bed over there. Bro, there are weapons in this room. I'm not comfortable in this room. Do I read any of this stuff? What's going on? Can I interact with anything? Where's my gown? She said a gown. A gown. A gown. I need I need a gown. Oh. It should be like a flickering light or something right there. Oh. Who are you guys? Hi. Okay, I'm on my way. Oh, you're hot. That's what you're saying. Oh, hello. You're a new kid, huh? What's your name? Hello, my name is Anthony. Nice to meet you. I'm Anthony Rivers. Here we go. Anthony, huh? I'm Nicolo. Nic Nicolo. Nicolo? Nicolo. Nicolo. Anyway. Anthony, huh? I'm Nicolo. I've been here longer than anybody. So if you have any questions, come see me anytime. How long have you been here? Who, yeah, who's standing next to you? Wait, you can see him too? Of course I can. That's Polo, my imaginary friend. Not many others can see him. He's the only one I've been able to rely on here. Hmm. Nice to meet you, Polo. I appreciate the sentiment. Anything else you'd like to know? How long have you been here? I've been here since I was three. I expect I'll be doomed to live here in the, <laughs> in the nut houses my whole life. Everyone thinks I'm a lunatic. I think they're wrong. That's awful. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. I think they're wrong. In any case, if you're able to see Polo, you'll likely see other strange things around here too. Strange things? The ghost of the asylum? Rumor has it he's the imaginary friend of the asylum itself. There's a ghost here. Probably a good idea to steer clear of him if you can. I appreciate the warning. Well, regardless, you have to change into a hospital gown quickly. It'll be 9 a.m. soon. That's when our routine starts. What's our routine? I'm new here. I don't know any of that. Hey, I want one. Do I have a friend? Am I changed into my gown? I don't see my feet. So I'm assuming. Ugh, the nurses here are an utter disgrace. I agree. It's a pleasure to meet another individual with sophisticated taste. Cool. Hey, did you see your schedule yet? What schedule? I guess they didn't tell you. They probably put a file on your bed. It should say what they expect from you here. I'll go check. Okay, which one is my bed? Anthony Rivers. Uh, living quarters, room six. Uh, description, eight-year-old child admitted January 16th, 1949 after parents reported uh, hallucinogenic episodes. Okay. Behavior issues and suicide attempt. Suspected defects. Schizophrenia. Oh. Treatment plan. Insulin coma therapy beginning at 9.30 a.m. Monday through Saturday. In the medical ward. It's almost 9.30. Pills with water at lunchtime. Okay. Bye. Daily schedule. Anthony is to wake up at 6 a.m. every day and be at breakfast at 6.30 sharp. Tardiness will result in missing breakfast. Wow. Okay. Chores begin at 7 a.m. where children are expected to make their beds and clean their rooms. Okay. All children must be ready to begin treatments at 9 a.m. and make it to lunch at 12 p.m. Lunch ends at 12.30 p.m. We only have a 30-minute lunch. It's not long. At which point, children may utilize free time with calm activities such as playtime or reading. Daily lessons begin with staff at 2.30 p.m. Failure to behave during lessons, okay. There will result in child being restrained to a padded cell until they are no longer dangerous. Dangerous? Lessons will go until dinner time, which is from 4 to 5. After this, children must retire to their rooms for the night. God. Hello, 
The schedule begins now. This is your first day, so I'll give you advice. Okay. Don't dwaddle. Listen to everything the staff says, and for God's sake, try to avoid attention. Okay, dreads. Got you. Okay. Okay. Um, what time is it? Is this my, this is my first day? Um, I forgot my schedule. Treatment's at nine. I, I, how do I know where to go? There you are. You're late. Do you think this whole place revolves around you? You're lucky I'm not putting you in punishment cell for this. Bro. The other nurses are waiting in the operating room upstairs to give you your treatment. Now go already. I'm, I'm, I, how do I? This is my first day. You guys suck. Upstairs, treatment room. Like she knows where, like she thinks I know where everything is. I totally know my way around. Is this it? Surgery? <laughs> that ain't the room. <laughs> I am so, uh, this is, it's the right way. I know they're not expecting me to go through surgery. Why is this room labeled as surgery? I don't need surgery. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Anthony Rivers, right? Yes, ma'am. Good. Let's begin your treatment. Oh. Good thing I don't have a body. Give me your arm. Bro, put that thing down. That is way too big. Why are you bowing like that? And why are you scraping my arm? Sleep tight. hear muffled voices so what do you think about him he's perfect oh he just what I've been wanting you can't hear anything more you pass out January 16th 1949 11 42 a.m. you guys are gonna make me late for lunch I see you're awake tell me Anthony are you feeling calm no, but I think I need to lie. I need to lie to have a good, have a bad feeling. Oh, I wonder. Uh, excellent. That'll be all for you today. It's almost lunchtime. Don't be late for lunch unless you want to miss it. I feel like I should have told the truth. And why does this table have like blood on it? And why are you guys a surgery? That wasn't even surgery. I miss my mom and dad. I want to write them a letter. No, it's not free time. It's lunch time. I, I mean, we only get 30 minutes of it. Oh, where's the lunch room? Lunch room? Where's the lunch room? Lunch room? Is this it? Where's the lunch room? Lunch room? Lunch room. What? I don't want to miss lunch. Or I'm going to work. Hey, how was your treatment? I passed out. They stuck a needle in me and I fell asleep. Sounds like insulin therapy. I knew a kid who had that done before. What do you mean, new? Well, it's time for daily lessons, so this is our only other free time other than before bed. Feel free to do whatever. I'm going to write. You still trust your parents after? Never mind. I need a pencil, paper, and an envelope. Okay. Pencil. 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 Pen. What? What? Where am I going? Lessons? 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 I don't like this. Surgery. I don't know where I'm going.
I I I don't I I I I don't I don't I oh no I'm in I'm in I'm in trouble I'm I'm in trouble I don't I don't get it oh no I'm dead I like how they just throw me in a school and they expect that I know where I'm going. Who's your... Where am I going? here looking for the stuff Hip, pick up okay so there's a pencil behind there here's this and then this okay I grab that's everything. I should get back to okay and write a letter. Okay, so so far this game is running on a schedule, but I'm confused because we should be at lunch, but we're skipping lunch to choose to write a letter. How do I write a letter? Did you find what you were looking for? Bravissimo. Bravissimo. Vabrissimo. 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 Whatever. Y'all yeah, know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that word that went by. It's a bit crammed in here, but there should be some space to write a letter by your bed if you want. You choosing to skip lunch too? This is my bed, right? This is my bed, right? This is my bed. January 16th, 1949. Dear mom and dad, I knew, I made new friends today. Their names are Niccolo and Polo, almost a piccolo. They're, they lived here since they were three years old. They both, they're pretty nice. Hmm. Oh, wait for that type. My eyes do two different things and I read what I'm reading and then I try to read ahead. I don't know why I do that. It's just the way my brain functions. It's the same thing with those split screen things. I can't watch them both because my eyes feel like. I thought it was just going to stop. That's messed up. I don't like that mechanism. When I edit. Yeah. Y'all read it. Damn it. I'm assuming that it's lesson time. Lesson time? Where's the lessons at? Do I got a potty? No. Oh, finally. Oh. I should sit with Nicola and Polo. Hold on. But I want to know this guy. He looks pretty cool. Marshmallow! Man. All right, well, where are they at? Okay. Mr. Rivers, you're due to take your pills now. Okay, I'll take them. I'm supposed to make sure you take them and don't feel like, sta I don't feel like standing here all day, so get to it. Okay. It's a lot of pills. Gulp, gulp. 
yum yum good and before i go make sure you eat every last bite of that food wasting food is not allowed here you got it you totally got it gold gold that looks moldy yum since you took so long lunchtime is almost over now you better be back in your room before then bro chill chill the fuck out hey you're new here aren't you yes i just arrived today okay i thought so i'm edward and behind me is my little brother tommy he can't talk though what's your name i'm anthony we heard from nico you'll be roaming with us it's nice to meet you likewise by the way you don't see anything do you i see imaginary friends so nicola was right you really can see them huh what do they look like one of them is green and the other one is blue they do both uh, we can hear you you know i'm twisty my name's smudge hello it's nice to meet you guys well lunch is almost over we'll be going now catch you in the room later oh i have free time until 2 30. maybe i can find a book to read bro it's 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 only like 10 7. i hate it here you would think there would be a clock at every corner I want to know what's all in these other rooms. There isn't a like a library or something. I don't want to go over there. I don't like that room. Oh yeah, I can jump. Okay. This is the lunch room. Oh yeah, it's a party in here. I I can't find a book. Hey again, tell me something about yourself. Are you Smudge friends? Smudge and I are brothers. I could definitely tell. <laughs> Liar. I like him. Hi, new friend. Nice to see you again. Tommy is super happy to have a new friend. So am I. Same here. Maybe we can all paint a picture together sometime, but it's okay if you don't want to. I want to know why you have a weapon. Hello again, my friend. Hello, Pillow. I wish to be free from this place. I am like a beautiful butterfly trapped inside a cocoon here. I completely agree. I knew you would agree. Okay. Where's the book? Do we use the bathroom like right here? Right by the food? That's, bro, that's sick. Hey, what's up? I'm looking for a book to read. Uh, uh, hold on, do you know where the books are? There's one next to my bed if you want to try it. It's not very good though. Oh, is that it? I've been looking all over, and so my days at Hothmore Children's Asylum began. I read books to help the miserable times pass by, and I sent my parents one le I sent my parents letters often. I never got any letters back to this day. I don't know if they ignored my letters or if the nurses withheld personal mail from patients. Neither situation would surprise me in the least. Anthony Rivers. Oh, this is sad. I wonder what my letter said. I probably killed my parents. Oh, January 20th, 1946. 6 a.m. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm late. All right, we wake up. We got to go to breakfast. 
I wonder what we'll have for breakfast today. Probably slop. Probably the same dis... Yep, I, I knew it. I kill from some sausage and eggs. I miss what mom used to make. I bet mom is making breakfast and dad is reading the newspaper right now. I wonder if they miss me. I should head to the bathroom and get ready for the day. Okay, running to the bathroom. Running to the bathroom. It's across the hall. Bathroom. Bathroom. I am rushing because time is of the essence. I have no reflection. Aww. When will this end? Boy, my depression is kicking in. Oh, Comb hair. Comb hair. We don't have, like, showers. Okay. Wash face. And another day. Time to go. What time is it? Do I gotta pee? There was, like, no showers in here. Okay, 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 okay. Breakfast time, breakfast time. Breakfast time. That is... Bathroom. It's breakfast time. I don't want to be late. Everyone probably went to the lunchroom. I should make my bed first. For, uh, okay. Bed's made. It ain't, it ain't on my schedule. I ain't got time for this. It's not on my schedule. Not on my schedule. I'm trying to get a full length breakfast of sludge. Hey, are you alright? You look really anxious all of a sudden. Someone was watching me outside of our room. Wait, really? It wasn't just an annoying nurse? I don't know what it was. I wonder if it could have been the ghost of the asylum. Have you seen him before? I've woken up in the middle of the night with him hovering over me. That's not scary at all. He sounds like bad news. I've heard rumors. He'll kill you if you upset him. But he's just a ghost, so what can he really do? Uh, I hope I don't run into him again. Regardless, there's not much we can do about it since the nurses here don't care. So let's just focus on breakfast for now. Eat! Slurp, slurp, chomp. You hear the nurses whispering about something. I got to stop sitting on my leg. So I'm going to sit on my other leg instead. <laughs> Take that. I should totally stop doing that. You hear the nurses whispering about something. I wonder what they're saying behind our backs this time. Looks like you brats will meet... Oh, another kid soon. Okay, my head's totally not doing it. Okay. Uh, the way they talk to us makes me so mad. I'm going to go over there and pull their stupid hair. I would recommend you don't. Agrees. I couldn't agree with you more. The hair is hideous. Wonder who the new kid will be. I feel sorry whenever someone else joins us. You kids, finish up chores. Start soon. Listen up. These are your chores for this morning. You must complete them before treatment begins. Pick up garbage in yard. Clean front porch. Cool. Easy enough. I expect you to work as a team. Complete these tasks as you are all well aware. Cleanliness is a virtue. As such, your ability to clean properly is a critical part of your overall wellness exam. If you continue to do your jobs well, it's a sign that your mental defects are being treated. However, slowly that may be. Hmm, that was shots fired. Well, enough talk now. If you want any chance of returning to whatever homes you have, you better get busy and do a thorough job. Don't forget that we're always keeping an eye on your sloppy... Oh, wow, on you sloppy brats. Who? I ain't... Oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna be quiet. I need to put garbage in the trash can on the porch. Okie dokie. One. Oh, really? Clean up. 
Clean up everybody, do your share. Why are, where is everybody else at? Why am I doing all the work? Who had these cigarettes? There's just a whole ashtray out here. Nurses having me clean up after them. I'm not dumb. I used to be a kid. Oh, they all over there. I used to be a kid. I know damn well the parent just had you clean up because they don't feel like it. Like, why is there a whole broken plate out here? It's glass. It's a hazard. We should not be cleaning that up. Okay. We don't go that way. Y'all been cleaning up the same spot this whole time. And I'm trying to figure out why are we the only two out here. Oh. Were y'all there the whole time? Man, y'all acting like y'all work. All these cigarettes. How much these how much these nurses is smoking? Oh. More more cigarettes. Of course. And it was right by my friend that he could not see. Okay. Alright. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I feel like we should have... Who's that? Hey, are you Anthony Rivers? Who are you? I just wanted to warn you because something really bad is going to happen here soon. What are you talking about? I hear someone's coming. I'll explain everything later. Why ain't you cleaning? Forget all that. You know what's gonna happen? Our our butts is about to get whooped. We about to get our We about to get whoop whoop. Like it's it's about to get it's about to go down. Like I wanna know why she ain't cleaning. The music need to stop doing what it's doing. Need to chill out. I hear scrubbing stone. Why don't we got a power washer? Okay. I did all the work by myself. Mm -hmm. Over here inspecting. No one darn well. Some of the stuff need to be replaced. Look at that. All that bricking showing. Yeah, I did it. It could be better, but I suppose I certainly can't expect perfection from the likes of you four. Okay, shots. That's why you got horrible posture. Mr. Bennett, we've noticed you've improved somewhat since your stay here. Keep it up and you'll be able to go home. Dun, dun, dun. Which one of us are you talking to? Oh, please, obviously. I mean the functional one out of you two. Oh, wow. The little monster can't even speak. He'll never leave. Oh, wow. Oh, You don't even understand what I'm saying, do you? Begins crying. Obviously he does. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Where'd you even get that? No! Follow me to the put. No! Uh, how dare you throw this disgusting water all over me. Bro got an arm. Hey! Yes, Edward. Serves you right. You're coming with me right this second. You disgraceful brat. You disgraceful brats. I'll make sure you'll never see your homes again. First of all, bro. Edward. I can't believe you did that. Tommy. Not Edward. Uh, goddamn. Yeah. Tommy. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe you did that. Tommy, you're lucky to have an older brother like him. Oh no, it is Edward. Tommy's the little one, Edward's the bigger one. Got it. I'm getting everybody's names mixed up. What do you mean? She had it coming. Yes, she did. I hope it got into her mouth. But now Edward's exam scores will be set back. He did that just so he wouldn't be forced to leave Tommy alone. Aw, it's okay, Tommy. Edward would rather stay with you than leave you all alone. I know it's bad we're all stuck here, but at least we all have each other, right? Dang. Hey. Edward. Edward, the real one. Edward got your back. It's 9 a.m. I need to go upstairs to get my treatment. All right. I wonder what's going to happen if I say, like, I'm cool. Like, I mean, not like I'm cool, but... 
like I don't know. I wish I knew. There should be like a little meter so we can know if to be honest. It's this way. But I mean, we're a kid. Like how? We can't be too hurt. Oh no. Good. You're here. Let's get started. Yep. Let me get on this cold, uncomfortable ass table. Give it here. Give what? There's a good boy. Not night. You hear muffled voices again. But you can't tell what they're saying this time and pass out. So it's like an insulin coma? Rising from the dead, are we? How are we feeling today? How am I supposed to know if it does anything? I always feel so sick and groggy when I wake up after the shot. Exactly. That's why I'm like, I wish I knew. All right. So we always feel sick and groggy, but that kind of makes sense after you have a shot and if they put you in a coma, you might feel like that. But I mean, lovely news indeed. Maybe you'll be leaving us soon after all. We'll miss having your cute little face around when that happens. No. I'm not throwing up. I'm trying to get out of here. Okay, so it's almost lunch. Or it is lunch. I'm on my way to my lunch. I'm just trying to be a good boy. I want to get the hell up out of here. All right, I am hungry for some. Mr. Rivers, how nice to finally speak with you. You're the only person that has some sort of face, I think. Okay, how are you? You know me? I mean, who are you? Of course I know you, boy. You're the very apple of Hothmore's eye of late. Okay, uh, okay. I'm Dr. Rupert Fig. I arrived here somewhat recently to conduct some research. I see. Nice to meet you. Of course, of course. I hear your condition is quite the, shall I say, fascinating subject. I very much look forward to speaking with you in the near future. Until then, my boy. Are you my father? You're walking away very slowly, but the footsteps don't match. I'm just gonna stand there. Okay. I'd like to introduce myself as well. I don't like you. Anybody that doesn't stand straight and has glasses like that, I don't trust. My name's Boris Frenzy. I usually serve as an assistant to the doctors here. So, I know how rough they can be. Sometimes I think the staff forgets they're supposed to be helping children here, not imprisoning them. If the doctor or anyone gives you trouble, you can come to me. It, it was, was nice meeting you, Anthony. Anthony. I, I hope, hope to see you around. No, I will trust not one of y'all. Looks like you attracted the attention of one of the doctors. I'll watch out if I were you, Anthony. He gave me the creeps. I appreciate the warning. I had a bad feeling. I don't understand. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Strength. Oh, strange things happen to those who are near the doctors here. I heard that sometimes the kids die or they disappear. Never to be seen again. Okay, Smudge. It's true. Please be careful and try to lay low. We'll have to stay by your side so you don't have the chance of ending up alone with them. Thanks for looking out for me, guys. I never heard those rumors. How disturbing. If you need to go somewhere, just let me know. I'll stick by you. Will do. Well, I better eat lunch and take my pills. Oh, yum, yum. Some moldy bread. Take pills. Go. 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 Yum. Full on pills. I have some free time. 
I'll head back to my room for now. Okie dokie. This is from Annabelle. What was that about? Who's Annabelle? I need to use this letter opener by the uh, by my bed to read. Okay, I can't just open it. I don't need a letter opener to open up a letter. But it's by my bed. No, oh, you're reading. Okay, letter opener. Examine letter opener. I'm surprised we're allowed to have this. Dear Anthony Rivers, meet me tonight in a shed outside the asylum. I would never risk us getting into this much trouble if it wasn't really important. So please be there. I'll see you there. Just past 9 p.m. Be careful that you don't get caught. Annabelle Walker. I don't trust her. Why does Annabelle want to meet? Is she? Bro, I don't like how he holding that pencil. It looked like a weapon. Oh, uh, I couldn't finish reading. I wish it would stay. I'm, I get nervous. I'm nervous. Every one of y'all making me a little nervous. Okay, I don't want to interrupt him. Sorry about what happened to you and Edward. All right, how you holding up? You know, practice talking to him every day. Sorry, Twisty isn't here right now. I think that needs to, yeah i do too. i think she was a jerk me too i'm going to paint a picture of that nurse falling off a cliff cool so what time is it what do i do all right we just had lunch we should be getting told some chores right or lessons what's our lessons Hey Anthony, what are you re what were you reading earlier? You seem nervous. I got an odd letter from a girl named Annabelle. All right. My thing is do we want to trust anybody? Personally, I don't trust anybody. But they haven't done anything. I wouldn't say I got a letter from Annabelle. I would ask who she is. But, all right, you know, we're going to trust. We're going to trust our, I want to trust our, man, I don't. I really don't. I, I, I'm a solo person. But sometimes solo stuff just gets me in trouble. So I want to, I want to try. I want to try to trust my room my roommates but this kid has been here for so long why why has this kid been here for so long and hasn't gotten out yet he's been here since he was three doesn't have any problems and it seems like he can function well in order to get out she's one of the patients at this uh this asylum she's been here for a long time too we're not allowed to talk to the girls here. Make sure you don't do anything to get in trouble. Ugh, would you two keep it down? How am I supposed to sleep with all your talking? It's almost time for lessons already. Okay, so we're not telling him about, we just asked about her, okay. Oh, Polo's right, classes are starting now. Let's get to the classroom upstairs, quick. I don't like her with that. Listen, everyone, today's lesson will be on mathematics. Oh, no. We need a new board. There are scratches. Ain't no way you writing on this board. This look like you writing on Stonewall, which you are. I will be giving you a series of questions, and I expect you to answer them quickly. Oh, God, no. Please don't. I barely know my, time, my two times multiplication tables. We have a lot to cover and can't afford to fall behind schedule. We'll begin today's lessons by testing your counting skills. I will draw a number of apples on the board. Then I want you to tell me how many are there. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Good. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's eleven apples. Oh, the pressure. 
Next, we'll be focused on... Oh, no. Oh, God, please, no. I will draw a shape on the board, and I want you to tell me the name of the shape. Yes, ma'am. Good, let's begin. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Octagon. It's an octagon. Hexagon. Pentagon. It's a pentagon. It's a hexagon! <laughs> Leave me alone. It's been a while. I don't know my shapes anymore. Now, it's time to take a look at some... Oh, no. I'm writing an equation on the board. I'm only like eight. Why do I have an equation? Oh. Yes, ma'am. Good. Let's begin. How long does this give me? Okay, I quit. <laughs> but ain't ain't he like eight? These are this is, he a smart kid. Okay, like hold on, wait before we get to. You're telling me, hold on. I have all right. So I do have a twelve year old. I don't think she's been doing equations since eight. I don't think. I'm going to ask you to solve another equation. This this one is simple. I won't even bother explaining it. Ready? What kind of teacher are you? It's so easy. There should be no reason to worry. Even be oh God, I'm worrying. I'm worrying. Oh! No! Oh! No! Ah! I did I get it right? It was so easy. That concludes our lessons. I just clicked whatever I saw. I saw Jibber Jabber. <laughs> Who? Ain't no damn way. Ain't no damn way. I panicked. I wish I would have actually looked at it. <laughs> Dinner starts soon and I'm not about to miss it. So scram already. Class is now dismissed. I will see you tomorrow. For <laughs> I don't try to cuss too much, but fuck you. Fuck you and everything you stand for for that for that question because no ain't no damn way we are a different breed if we could answer that question we are a different breed mathematics is terrible for your skin yes it is are you hungry Tommy okay let's head downstairs for dinner let's go get food Tommy's hungry. Let's all get dinner. Okay. Hey, how do you feel about that lesson? She thinks she's so clever pulling out those trick questions. Doesn't it ever get old? I know, right? Anyway, it's almost time for dinner. We should head to the lunchroom. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go, squad. I am the most idiot. Y'all ain't coming? I don't remember Matt being that crazy. During dinner that night, all I could think of was it what? Wait. During dinner that night, all I could think of was if I should risk everything to talk to Annabelle. An impending sense of dread and anxiety coursed through me as Niccolo's advice played through my head over and over again. I would come to find out that every night that our lives would change forever. Anthony Rivers. January 20th, 1949, 8.30 p.m. Time to meet Annabelle. I should bring a candle behind my bed. It's dark. I should. I should. What, what are, are you doing? doing? Everyone, Everyone tried, tried to, to warn you. you. I, I won't stop, stop you, but I hope you know what you're doing. doing. Bro, you sleep on a cleaver. You are built differently. Why don't I have an imaginary friend? Okay. Don't get caught. How do I hide?
coming all the way down here. Good thing. going. Do I go over here? What? Oh. What way is the right way? That's a shed. Oh, can I grab the X? I can't grab the X. Okay. Okay, I did not see that fence like that. Okay. Dude. You're about to kill me, aren't you? Hi, Anthony. I'm glad you can make it. Are you Annabelle? Yes, I'm Annabelle. It's nice to officially meet you. Likewise. And this is my imaginary friend, Hokey. He's my best friend. Hello, Anthony. Hi, Pokey. Pookie? Pokey? Is it Pookie or Pokey? Wait, all right. So your name is Pookie. Your name is Pookie. I don't know why I said Pokey. I don't know, but Pookie. Pookie used to look different, but when we moved here, he changed. Oh. He said he wanted to look more intimidating to protect me. Pookie's always looking out for me. Anyway, I'm sorry for asking you to risk so much of coming here. But it's our best chance to avoid getting caught, despite it really being risky. The truth is, I overheard the staff say a new doctor arrived and that he's interested in you for some reason. I wonder why. I'm not sure what the doctor wants with you, but I'm worried it might be something really bad. Have you heard of the ghost of the asylum? I think I saw him. Well, the ghost becomes most active whenever something horrible is about to happen. Is he active right now? Ever since that door, ever since that doctor arrived, Rumor has it, the ghost started appearing again. If the rumors are true, that doctor might be planning something horrible for you. Usually, when the doctors get their hands on you here, you never see again. That's why I wanted to warn you. I'm going to do some investigating on my own. I want to know what the ghost is all about. In the meantime, do anything you can to stay away from that doctor. I'll try my best, Pookie and Annabelle. And I felt like you deserved to at least be prepared for the worst of it comes down to it. I know I'd want to know if it were me. I appreciate it. We should leave. Annabelle's getting late. Pookie's right. Head back safely, Anthony. We'll go first so you can make a run for it if we, if we get caught. Okay, they should be back in their dorm by now. That didn't make sense. Can I go this way? I can't slip through here. Woo! So you're telling me I could have done that the first time? Uh oh, uh oh. This is the part that's going to suck. All right. Breezing on through. 
Hey guys. What the devil are you doing out here? I told you to be careful. Sorry, Niccolo. Something's wrong. Wait, what's the matter? What are you two doing awake at this hour? Go back to sleep now. You two are in a world of trouble for tomorrow. We had to go poop. That night, Niccolo, Polo, and I returned to our room. Tommy and Smudge were already awake from the nurses yelling. I told them everything that Annabelle shared, and we stayed up late into the night discussing everything. Anthony Rivers. What's about to happen to me? January 21st, 1946, 6 a.m. I'm already late. I should be up at 5.30, to be honest with you. Hey, I'm sorry for being upset with you last night. Looks like I ended up getting us both in trouble. That's all right. I know you're just worried. Anyway, I guess we should get ready for our punishment today. I wonder what today will bring. It's going to bring a lot. Can I fix my bed? Oh, it's already done. Hey, guys. Good morning. I would talk to you, but I am on a tight schedule. Bathroom I go. Got to wash my... What? Got to wash my face because we don't have a shower. Look at me. Getting all, Gotta comb my hair. It's a little nappy. All right, brush my teeth. Gotta keep, gotta keep them good looking and wash face. Boom! Let's head to breakfast. That's the smiling boy that I am. Run, run, run away. I don't wanna be late. I wanna have plenty of time for breakfast. Good morning, everybody. No sludge? You there, Mr. Rivers and Mr. Gallo. We don't believe you two deserve to eat breakfast today. You can't hold that. Ungrateful attitudes and misbehaving are not tolerated here. You can both start chores early and clean the main bathroom by yourselves today. Yes, ma'am. All righty. What are you waiting for? You best get started quickly. I expect to be spotless if you want to earn lunch. Earn lunch? Earn lunch? Maybe we should take a page out of Edward's book and throw dirty water on them, too. Ugh, the, the bathroom. bathroom. Sorry, I, I won't be helping you clean this time. Fine, I'll meet you there, Anthony. The main bathroom is upstairs. Niccolo is probably already there. Well, he was just right here. He was just right here. How did he move so quick? bathroom is these two doors. Do we gotta clean both of them or just the girls? How do I know which one is which? Oh, why don't we get ready in the morning up here? Ugh. Hey, Anthony. I'm gonna start cleaning the sinks and the mirrors. It looks like the floor, toilets, and bathtubs need to be cleaned. Great. There's cleaning supplies we can use at the end of the stalls. Let's get this stupid punishment over with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? Right here. Scrub a dub dub. Uh -oh. oh, okay. That's what we're doing. All right. Oh, this. Ooh, it still looks a little dirty, but you know, it is what it is. It's better than what it was before. All right, this is some good solution because let me tell you, whatever's going on in these tubs looks gross. Done, now I should grab the broom and clean the floor. All right. You really working there, huh? Too bad we don't got a speaker. We deserve to have some type of music. Not too bad. 
This last stall is all that's left, but it's locked. Hey, is someone in there? Hello? Captain Hook? Sir, ye the ones making all the racket. We came in here to be alone, you know? Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you. The mercy, the, they, they, yeah, I hate this bathroom. If I wasn't forced to, I would never have come in here. Why do you hate it? Arr, that's so. I haven't seen you before. What's your name? My name's Marco. It, my, my name's Pete Gustavo. I just arrived here this morning. I'm sorry that I delayed your cleaning. I came in here to be alone because I'm, well, I'm really upset. My mom tricked me. She said we'd be going on vacation together, but we just, she just abandoned me here instead. Now you see here, you be these rats, rats, be these rats. I don't know what that word is. If you make Pete cry, I'll come to make you pay. No, Marco, it's okay. They didn't do anything. It's all mom's fault, not theirs, and I'm not crying. Anyway, sorry for the worst impression ever. I hope we can still get along. Well, what are your names? Yeah, that's pretty bad. My name is Niccolo. My name is Anthony. Nice to meet you, Pete. Don't act cool, Niccolo. We're scrubbing toilets. No. Nice to meet you, Pete. I wish I could say it's nice to meet you guys. That came out wrong. I mean, it seems like we'd be great friends, but... Yeah, the situation isn't great. I'm not exactly happy you're here either. Sorry, he's blunt. He means he feels for you. Yeah. I appre- Wait a second. I just realized. You guys can see Marco too? A little slow on the uptake, huh? Lots of us have imaginary friends. Except for Anthony. But he can still see ours somehow. Well, you watch it, matey. I won't stand in your slander and repeat Marco? Quit being embarrassing, will you? Anyways, guess I'll leave now. You guys can actually clean the toilet. By the way, the poop stains aren't coming for me. You're a liar. Those were already here. When I, you a lie. I hope, I, you know, in a way I hope because, you know, I would like to think he was not in the bathroom while you were in there taking a shit. I just wanted to clarify that. Bye now. Let me guess, this is going to be the worst toilet. What a little weirdo. I like him. Anyway, let's finish up here. Beautiful. Mm hmm. Okay, with all that says. You kids actually cleaned up well in here. I suppose you've earned lunch today. Run along now. It's time to begin our daily schedule. This place doesn't revolve around you two. Didn't think it did. At least, if anything, we're the ones cleaning it. Well, that was atrocious. See you later. I need to get my treatment now. Great. Uh oh. Look who it is. Just the boy I wanted to see. Oh no. My boy, you look as though you've seen a ghost. Lighten up, Chapo. Chapo, sorry. Breaks into. It's not that funny, sir. If, if I, I may, Dr. Fink, I believe you're making our patient here a little uncomfortable. Oh, Boris, you always assume the worst of everything. We're just having a bit fun. Aren't we, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose you're right. When I was a mere boy, I was afraid of the doctor. When you're a child, you should be afraid of doctors. Are we dancing? Are we dancing? I'm a little uncomfortable here. <clears throat> we ought to stick to schedule, doctor. Indeed. 
Anthony, my boy, I just wanted to observe you as they perform the treatment today. Carry on, ladies. Pretend I'm not even here. Fine. Lay down, Anthony. Bro, you're hovering over me. Now give me your arm. Bro, that needle ain't getting any space. Yes. Give, give her your, your arm, arm Anthony. Anthony. I don't need an echo. I've been doing it fine the past few days, sir. She does her little motion. I don't know why it looks like that. I feel a little groggy while dude is over there. Thank you for allowing me to add my new ingredient to this treatment, Nurse Jones. What you add? What you put in my insulin? Bro. Straight nightmare. Where am I? Bro. 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 I'm out of here free of my mind. This is not a nightmare. Mm. Oh, y'all dancing. Hey, it's lit. <laughs> it's lit, ain't it? Woo! It's lit. It's lit. Turn up. Turn up. Hey, turn up. It's, hey. Turn up. Turn up. <laughs> get, get it, boy. Get it. Get it. Hey, this is this is a great time. I, if y'all would like this all the time, it would be a great. Let me let, let me get in on this. All right, y'all. Keep it easy. Keep it easy in there. Y'all, y'all enjoy y'all time. Okay. Oh no. A falling dream? Oh. Whee! I knew I could fly. You're going to die. Who are you? Is that the... The back of that one always look like that? You're going to die. Okay. All right, I got this. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, check them skills. Oh, that's pretty. Freedom in my mind. I love it here. I was waiting for a jump scare. Oh yeah. Oh no. I hope that ain't me. What do I do? Is that me? Oh no. It's a lot going on. Like, every time I show one of my... I tried to warn you. Uh... 
Oh no. Alright. I actually hate these things in life. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh please don't chase me. Why? No, platforming. I hate platforming. Platforming. Oh, oh. I hate platforming. I hate platforming. With a passion. Oh, I miss. I really. I I can't describe how much. I hate platforming. Oh, 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 yeah, I did it. Oh, my goodness. What? What? Oh, no, please don't say I got to start all over again. Take one, doing it the right way, the first flipping time nothing could go wrong where am I going oh, oh yeah what Please. Oh. Oh no. Please <laughs> stop chasing me while we're platforming. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Please let this part be done. Uh, this dream sucks. Jump. 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 When when do I jump? Jump. Jump. Annabelle. Anthony. Anthony, wake up. I should have a smile on her face. Wake up. <gasps> Do I think I woke up? January 21st, 1942, 2 p.m. Oh no. Lessons. Did I miss Oh. Oh, Mr. Rivers, you're awake. Was that really all a dream? It felt so real. I'm sure you're wondering, I'm sure you're wondering as to why you're in my office while you were asleep. You just started burning with a, with a fever. I'm so confused. What's happening? Dr. Fig was convinced that a fever would burn your mental illness into speak. He thought it would cure you. Mr. Rivers, he's begun to poison you. Is he trying to kill me? I understand. I tried everything I could to persuade him to stop his experiments, but he won't listen to me. His position is above mine, so there's nothing I can do. But I don't believe in his methods. If this continues, if I may be blunt, I think you'll die, Mr. Rivers. Why are you telling me all of this? Listen. There's truly nothing I can do because they have their eyes on me. The month supply, the month supply of the injection they are giving you is in the surgery room. It has your name on it. Suppose you were to sneak out at night and replace it with water. I don't believe the nurses would notice. 
You must pretend to sleep once they give it to you. You didn't hear it from me, okay? But I really can't stand to see Dr. Fig do this to a patient. I understand. I'll keep it a secret. Oh, and I was able to convince the teacher to allow you to skip lessons today. Please go back to your room in Westwell for nightfall. Good luck, Mr. Rivers. This was a demo? I was invested! This was a demo. It did not say de No wonder why it was so choppy. This, this was a long ass demo. Hold on. Wait. Wait. It doesn't say demo! Oh my gosh, this... This was a demo. Oh, that hurt. This was really good. I noticed that it was a little choppy, but it was fine. It wasn't bad. Um, it was definitely doable. When they had something, I was invested in the story. I didn't even get it off of Steam. I went to my usual area. Oh. Well, that was Imaginary Friends. This this was so good. I liked it. I haven't seen it anywhere. I just was scrolling on um, uh, itch.io, uh, itch.io, however you want to pronounce it. I don't care. Say whatever you want. This was good. I loved it. It was definitely fun. I liked the story. I liked every character, especially the, the imagination character. I'm so upset. I was invested in this. I was so invested. I'm, it's on my wish list. I'm tired of me always finding these games and I don't realize it's a demo until it's too late. Like that was, that was good. That was good. That was excellent. I liked it. For me, I liked it. I, I could tell other people probably wouldn't like it. I, but I love the imaginary. The, it, 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 uh, let me hurry. Slow down pause wait i like the fact that it kind of had that mascot character feeling ish because of the imagination and friends compared with the you know the actual uh antagonist like i like that that it was together like that i wish we had an imaginary uh, imaginary uh, friend but we don't that i know of have one yet i want to know about the doctor i want to know that was so good. I enjoyed every moment of it. I'm highly upset. I hope you guys are just as upset as me. But that was good. This was enjoyable. I all right. So, <laughs> but it was good. I liked it. It was fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed too. Uh, like, comment, subscribe um, if you haven't yet. Um, I'll try to keep digging. That's what I normally do. Is I try to dig in that barrel for games. I have been known to find these random games that are like that. So I haven't seen any of the people that I sub to play this game. I haven't. That's what I try to do. I try to get to these games before the big people get to them or the people that I watch that aren't big yet uh, or that will be very soon. Um, Cause I, I don't know, I, I try to get to it first. I like, I wanna have that feel. I wanna have that that thing like I like this effect that I feel right now knowing that I that I did this before uh, I see anybody else do it so oh man I'm sad I hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time